Hi guys, I'm Astix, only video production. Today, I'm really excited to show you these three microphones. These are Rebone microphones, as you can see, are the Bamboo series from Tierra Audio. So this video is not sponsored by anyone. Basically, I've contact the uh, Italian distributor of Tierra Audio uh, products, which is Milk Audio Store here in Italy. And basically, they sent me for free these four different microphones. I have to send a huge thanks to Milk Audio Store if you are interested in these microphones and basically in the products of Tierra Audio. You have the link in the description, you can purchase, you can see the catalog from Milk Audio Store. So let's talk about these three microphones and first of all about Tierra Audio. Well, I discovered Tierra Audio basically two years ago uh, during the NAM show. I was in California during the NAM, the winter NAM uh, 2020, before the pandemic disaster. Basically, as soon as I saw the, the booth of Tierra Audio, I was without any words, basically. It was so amazing, so environmental thinking, uh, with a lot of wood. I really love their product, in really natural wood. And let me show you the case of the microphones. Each microphone comes with uh, this wood case. It's all handmade in Spain. As you can see, it's really clever because it's basically magnets. You have here the magnets. It's closed. It's really well made. Your microphone stays here really well, really sturdy. Really, really great. I love the concept of Tierra Audio. So these are ribbon microphones. So basically you have a ribbon inside and there are a transformer inside, which is phenomenal, which is really, really powerful. Because if you try to place the microphone really close, as you can see, they are attracting. <laughs> They are really powerful. And if I change basically the polarity of the, the, the transformer, you cannot place it close because they will push out each other. Okay, so it was really difficult to show you, for example, the recording on the voice, on the vocals, because I want to use all the microphones at the same time to not have really different in recording but it was really difficult to put them really close so this is the only cons uh, of this microphone because they sounds really really great really smooth of course they are ribbon microphones so they are just a bit dark and which are the main differences between these three microphones. The bamboo is uh, uh, passive, so you do not require any phantom power. While the black bamboo and the white bamboo, they are instead um, active microphone, active ribbon microphone. So these require the phantom power. Um, I had a strange behavior of the black bamboo because it it is basically the the only one that has a really a really high um, output level. So basically with the phantom power, because this is the active ribbon microphone, using this as a room mic, for example, for the drum, I use basically plus one, plus two dB uh, from the audio interface because they are really, really high uh, amount of output level. And on the contrary, with the white bamboo, using the phantom power, you basically have sort of the same level uh, of the bamboo, so of the passive. So you have to raise the gain. So this is to keep in mind, it's really strange the behavior of the black bamboo. Uh, let's now talk about the sound. So let's listen some samples. In this video, I'll show you different samples and you can also download the sample in high quality because of course, from YouTube, you have some compression, but you can also download the real recording that I did, so the raw recording, and you can do your test, your judgment, of course. So if you become a member, if you join my YouTube channel, you can download all the high quality record, and of course, you can also receive some extra downloads, really benefits. So I've tried these microphones on vocals, both talking and both singing, female and male. Then I've tried out on acoustic guitar, 
on electric guitar they sounds great on electric guitar so on my custom cabinet and then i try out also on drums for rooms for overheads okay so let's start the test let's listen the behavior of this microphone uh, considering the singing part both female and male so i've basically tried to place the microphone as near as possible avoiding this behavior as you can see is <laughs> pushing away the microphone using one of my stand to get basically the same distance from far position because otherwise if you sing really really close to this microphone and the microphone are placed uh, in a different way the angle will be uh, different so there will be also some differences in the recording so 50 centimeter away from the mouth of the singer let's listen the recording to dream the impossible dream to fight the unbeatable foe to bear with unbearable sorrow to run with a breath there not go to write the unwritable wrong to love pure and chase from afar to try when your arms are too weary to reach the unreachable star this is my quest to follow that star no matter how hopeless no matter how far to fight for the right without questions or pause to be willing to march into hell for a heavenly cause and i know if i only be true to this glorious quest then my heart can light peaceful and cold when i lay to my rest and the word will be better for this than one man's coat and cover with scars See through with his lens once of courage To reach the unreachable Just to bail you out If there's anything you like, you know I'll always get your bad That's what it's all about Think of me as a sidekick Help you whenever I can I'm more than just a woman, baby When the pressure's come, a baby Let me be your right-hand man So through the heart And you're to blame, darling You give love a bad an angel's smile is what you say You promise me heaven, then pull me through hell Want you to God, hold on me When passes a prison, you can break free Whoa, you're a lot of God, yeah Whoa, there's nowhere to run, no one can save Okay, so in my opinion, they sound really similar each other. 
except from the black bamboo because it has more bass but the sounds are pretty similar in my opinion you have of course the download if you want to listen better they are really smooth you can really listen the naturality of the voice so there are no any artifacts no any uh, kind of uh, harshness really really great and pleasant let's listen now on the talk behavior so close the microphone this time i've used one microphone at a time because you have to talk really close to the capsule and let's listen also the behavior considering that these microphones have built-in pop filter so let's listen to the behavior what have i done sweet jesus what have i done become a thief on the night become a dog on the run i have fallen so far and it's the hour so late that nothing remains me but a cry of my hate the cry in the dark that nobody hears. Here is where I stand, at the turning of the ears. If there's another way to go, I missed twenty long years ago. My life was a war that could never be won. They gave me a number and murdered Vajan. They have chained me and left me for dead, just for stealing a mouthful of bread. What have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a thief on the night, become a dog on the run. I have fallen so far and it's the hour so late that nothing remains me but the cry of my hate. The cry in the dark that nobody hears. Here is where I stand, at the turning of the ears. If there's another way to go, I missed twenty long years ago. My life was a war that can never be won. They gave me a number and murdered Varjan. They have chained me and left me for dead, just for stealing a mouthful of breath. What have I done? Sweet Jesus, what have I done? Become a thief on the night, become a dog on the run. I have fallen so far and it's the hour so late that nothing remains me but a cry of my hate, the cry in the dark that nobody hears. Here is where I stand, at the turning of the ears. If there's another way to go, I missed twenty long years ago. My life was a word that can never be won. They've given me a number and murdered Valjean. They have chained me and left me for dead, just for stealing a mouthful of breath. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, You are marrying an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your world obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border and senseless. And you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, You're marrying an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your world obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border and senseless. And you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you. I saved every letter you wrote me. From the moment I read them, I knew you were mine. You said you were mine. I thought you were mine. Do you know what Angelica said when we saw your first letter arrive? She said, You are marrying an Icarus. He has flown too close to the sun. You and your world obsessed with your legacy. Your sentences border and senseless. And you are paranoid in every paragraph. How they perceive you. Okay, again, I really like all the three kind of microphones the black bamboo has more the proximity effect of course and i really like the the bamboo so the passive microphone because in my opinion is just a bit more crisp it's it's clear in its s t d all these kind of consonants they are really really great i really like and um, on the contrary i think that the white bamboo is really great on vocals but they have just a bit more wood sound okay just a bit more on the mids and um, i think that the black bamboo is just a bit uh, scooped 
on the mids on this behavior but i really really like all of them let's try now on acoustic guitar Again, I think that the uh, passive bamboo ribbon microphone is just a bit clearer in the highs, just a bit are very very similar to these kind of microphones and of course the black bamboo has more bottom so this sounds just a bit rounder in my opinion, it's just a bit rounder um, compared to all the other. I think that for Acoustic guitar is great, the white microphone, the white mambo, white this, because since it, it sounds just a bit more, let me say, muddy, not so muddy, you have a, a really pleasant wood sound. With the acoustic guitar, you can listen all the wood sound of the guitar, so all the uh, kind of body sound is really, really great. I really like on the acoustic guitar. Now let's switch on the electric guitar and here in my opinion these kind of microphones shine on.
sound of this Rebo microphone on my custom cabinet. Really great. I really like the clean, which is really smooth, no any harshness. I really like the dirtness, the chugness that this can capture. It's really, really great. Let me say, you can really use this microphone without any post cue with this, let me say, metal sound. Really great, really pleasant. I really love this. And in my opinion, here sounds just a bit better the the bamboo so the passive microphone because maybe with the proximity effect of the black bamboo you have to use this just a bit far away but just a bit from the cone because you have also this proximity effect but they sounds all really really great let's now focus on the final recording i did i record a drum kit it was a peer reference the drummer is omar majorano is a great drummer you have the link also in the description of all the artists if you want to check out so how i mic'd up the drum kit i don't want to talk about all the other microphones that i use for each components but let's talk only about the Tierra audio microphone that i use of course, I used a pair of the bamboo microphones, so the passive microphones used as overheads and the capsule was basically looking to the snare. 
both the capsule to this layer. While the other microphone, I've tried to use them to capture the whole kind of drum, like a very short room microphones, but place it basically low to capture more the bass, so uh, the bass drum. And basically they were more or less 60 centimeter away from the bass drum. They are really, really sensible. So if you move this very close to the bass drum or just a bit away from the bass drum, the sound will be totally different. So keep in mind this. And since I had this strange behavior with the black mambo, so basically very, very high uh, amount of output level, I cannot use this microphone very close to the bass drum because the ribbon basically distorted too early. You have really to go very far from your microphone. So let's listen the behavior of this kind of placement. Let's listen how these microphones are really, really smooth. Okay, the overheads, in my opinion, sounds astonishing, really smooth, there are no that kind of harshness in the, in the crash, really great, really smooth, really pleasant to listen, really, let me say, natural, really, really great, and I love with uh, some compression to squash this kind of uh, crash, they basically sound massive with the compressor really really great let's listen the last one recording while i used the same configuration for the overheads but for the room i used far away room basically this kind of height so looking for the drummer basically but i use a different technique this technique is called mid side basically i've used the 
a black bamboo that was my mid, so was looking for the drummer because this is the most bass responses microphone. So I like to use this on the mid. While for the side, I've used basically the white bamboo, place it on the top of this uh, black bamboo. So basically they are coincident to have the same kind of phase to not have an, any phase cancellation, but the capsule it was rotate of 90 degrees so basically these are capturing in this way while this is capturing in this way because ribo microphones are figure eight in kind of uh, uh, the capture so basically i've used this technique you have to uh, process also these two tracks in the dough to keep them uh, the side effect and the mid effect but maybe in a different video if you are interested leave a comment below if you want to know how to manage this kind of technique in the dough so let's listen to the sound I love this technique because they sounds really great for the, the drum mic and I really like the wideness that you can get even if you use the microphone really close and this technique is really great for uh, mono compatibility. It's really great, I really love to squash the room with compressor, you can create a really kind of enormous room from a really small room so you can fake this kind of uh, issue because if it's very difficult to have a really great a really large room for your drum but if you have a small room compressor is really really great so this microphone sounds amazing you have the link in the description if you are interested to purchase this microphone from tierra audio again thank you to milk audio store for providing me this microphone for free. Leave a comment below, let me know what you think about, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.